Today, I'll be showing you how you can make this crafting table animation in five simple steps. This is completely free to do and I'll be using CapCut, meaning you can go and download it right now and create the exact same thing that I'm making. Make sure to like and subscribe because I'll only make a tutorial if 50 people subscribe on this video. So if you want another tutorial just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get in with step one. Step one, put your crafting table GUI over on your background and just scale it down to, until you want it. Also, if you want to use any of the assets I use in my videos, make sure to click the free Google Drive link in the description as it has all the assets I use in all my videos. Anyway, set a position and size keyframe for the first frame to exactly one second in and set another one. Then you go back to the first one and put it down until it's off the screen. And make sure you can see that blue line so it's symmetrical, otherwise it's gonna look weird when it pops up. And if you want to spice it up a bit more, set the rotation to minus 10 to just give it a better effect and make sure to also put that off the screen as well next step right click your clip and click show keyframe animation then go to y click both of these keyframes and select auto curve then drag this blue line to the end part here and do the same for the other one as well so it should look something like that do the same for the rotation if you used rotation but if you didn't you can just leave that be then once you've done that it should look something like this now personally for me that's too fast, so you can come down here and just change it so it's a bit more easy, just like that. That's perfect. Once you've done that you can right click again, click hide keyframe animation and let's go on to step 2. Go to your last keyframe that you did and import whatever item that you want to go in this first or whatever box you want. For example, I'm going to put this one in the first box. Scale it down until it fits into the crafting table nicely, like that. Make sure you crop it down so it's the same as this. This is a very important step that you'll need later on. Click animation, scroll down to zoom in and click this down button until it hits 0.1. Then it should look something like this. Personally, I'm going to make it further away from this as it just looks a bit rushed. But once you've done that, it should look something like that. Next step, you want to click your arrow key three times to go three frames forward and paste your clip again and move it to the second slot, whatever slot you want. Make sure it's going in a horizontal pattern, otherwise it's not going to look that good. And then you can do this as many times as you want. Once you've done that that many times, it should look something like this. Make sure you crop it down just like this first one here. This is where CapCut features come in really helpful. In the order that you want to put it in, for example, I want this second slot to be Amethyst. Drag your Amethyst onto your clip, click Replace Clip, and boom, it's just changed to Amethyst. Do this for everything else that you wanted to do. Then once you've done that, it should look something like this. For the next step, you want to go to the first frame of your first item. Go to audio, extracted audio, and then import whatever sound you want. I'm going to import a Minecraft click sound just to give it that extra detail. Then once you've done that, paste it for every single item. Then once you've done that, it should look something like this. Then what you want to do, you want to highlight all of your sound effects, click control and highlight everything else. But make sure not to highlight your background. Then right click and click create compound clip. Then everything that you just did should become this one clip and you can set a position and size keyframe and then go like one second again and then do the same type of go down effect as we did at the beginning. Right click, show keyframe animation and change all of the things like we did at the beginning. And then after you've done that, it should look something like this. And if you want to add even more detail, go to effects, search for rebound swing, and make sure it's this effect, not any others. And just put that onto your compound clip. You can change the size and the speed if you want, but then it should look something like this. And that's it. If you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button as I'll only make another tutorial if this video reaches plus 50 subscribers. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one.